sun is now rising in the east. I'm heading west. And I just crossed the state line into New Mexico. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today, number seven of my cross country journey into Americana, the back roads, less traveled areas, staying off major thoroughfares, and just checking out the nooks and crannies of this great US of A. There was no there was no sign coming in from this direction. It's either been removed, stolen, who knows? Let's get in there. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Getting a general overview by looking at the road atlas made my entry point right around here where that 83 is on the line. I'm going to meander across the bottom portions. You see the sheer magnitude of this entire proximity. Not going to hit all of it. Just the areas right around in this section. Got a lot of ground to cover today. Can't do too much dilly-dallying. The town of Maldramar, this is the Welcome Center, and the church there in the distance. In the window is a tattered American flag. We are still in oil territory. You see the pumps out there. A couple of them moving, but a few of them are just sitting still. There's also a, a fire burning out of that post. There's a lot going on over there. Some sort of power grid station. Some sort. Got some relics here over this fence line. Classic vehicles sitting under the elements. Coming in low. Second pass. A little crop dusting. Very good sized sculptures here in this downtown area. Nice shot of the Western Ware building behind him. This monument honors and depicts the cowboy lifestyle of the 1880s, a tribute to those with an independent spirit who were determined to make their way through the difficult conditions of this territory. He's waving his pistol high, his six shooter. Out on the plains. No big skyscrapers there. This theater looking pretty sweet. Plays brand new movies, but still has this nostalgic vibe, neon included. Above this fountain is the recreation of a 1950s drilling rig. A lot of workers on there. And to the left are two gentlemen that are having a discussion on top of a hood of a truck. You know it's a serious conversation when the hands start flailing. We get down to business. Those who operated these rigs back then were given the name the Roughneck Crew. That's them right there. You can kind of see the architecture starting to change. This is called the Hope Store. It's also a craft shop. 
in there. There wasn't a whole lot back there. That was the community of Hope. About the only business in town, as best I could tell. The terrain is definitely starting to change quickly. Some elevation, hills and even some mountains. Even a little river down there. It's popped up out of nowhere. It is desolate out here. Hello! Was surprised to see this little store set up here. And they are open. It's so quiet. Attached to this also is a petting zoo. And they said I could wander around and look at some of the animals. <laughs> Hello, Captain. Want a little food? You want a little food there? Get a little food. Get a little food. Might be a little easier if I just dump it in here. You probably like that better, huh? There you go. Get it down there. Can you reach it? Oh, you got this all figured out. You're licking it up there with your tongue. What about if I just dump it in here? Yeah, and then you go down low. That'd be easier for you, right? Want a little bit? Here, I'll put it so right there. There you go. Just, just dig in there. Just dig in. Just dig in there. Yeah. What are you all staring at? You waiting on something? You waiting on me? Get your head out of there. Get your, there you go. Look at your head stuck in there. Take a little bit. Just don't, come on. There you go. Just have a, get a little nibble there. Here, save some, save some for some of your friends. Have a little nibble. Move on. Here you go. You want a little nibble? There you go. Get, get a little. Get a little taste. Oh, you already had some. Give a little, give a little guy his piece. The restroom facilities are located right here amongst it all. What you doing? Just chilling? Looks like that's kind of the consensus of of everyone out here. Having a lazy day, huh? Looks like you got plenty of chow over there to keep you busy. Yeah. I know, that's what I'm saying. Hey, no pushing. Picked up a little snack for myself as well. Roasted and salted jumbo corn. Mmm. Probably to wash my hands first. I'm also in need of a fill-up. Gas is required. A-S-A-P. Come on, gas station, rear your head. Drink up. Drink up. As an added bonus, this place has free coffee. The Mayhill store. That's awesome. I understand the no smoking. But is the cell phone policy still a thing? And is that really a cell phone? I think I may have just stepped into the twilight zone. Do, 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 do. Up the ways a bit is Cloudcroft, where they've adorned their dumpsters with these murals. The sign lets us know some of the different grades that we'll be going through on the way down. Good thing about this is, if you so choose, you don't even have to accelerate. Just coast at your own leisure. Tap the brake occasionally and just coast. Some pretty good views from up here too. Even though I've already about halfway down, still pretty high up. You can see where the road runs right along the side of the rock to the left. Pretty majestic. At another overlook looking back at where I was just standing. If I pan this direction just a bit can see just how expansive this is. Made it back down to normal elevation. First thing I see is this train car sitting there abandoned. White Sands National Monument. 
Now that's something I've never seen with my own eyes. And check that out. The cost is $10 to get in. I don't think that's too bad of a deal. And it's run by the National Park Service. Not something you would expect to find way out here. Usually an ocean is attached. The beach is in New Mexico? Who knew? Look at this. It's requested that you stay on the boardwalk instead of walking on the dunes. Astronauts can see this from space. It's pretty neat. After walking this entire length from the parking area, I've reached the end point of where I'm allowed to traverse. This is where you are to look out on the horizon and just get a feel for the entire section. Kind of expecting to hear the roar and crashing of waves, but there are none. Kind of messes with your senses a little bit. It's also noticeably brighter, at least it seems like it. The sun must bounce off the dunes and right back at you. I'm no scientist, but it just seems like it's, seems like it's brighter. The paved section of the street ends right down there. And you are allowed to drive on the sand, not the dunes per se, but the road. Seems to be less weeds in this section. You can see where the drivable portion is, that direction. And just like that, it's gone. It's very loud from the drilling that's taking place, but I want to peek just through this barbed wire and take a look at that prospector with his trusty mule. Walking through the desert, his shovel, probably a canteen full of water, or maybe even a little something extra. I really like this. What size glass of water would you need to cool that down? That is that is a huge chili pepper. You consume that. Might not have a good evening. You might have a bad night. I think this could be the first water tower I've seen on this trip that didn't have a town name, but the state logo. Yeah, I think I think it might be. If I've seen another one, I've totally slips my mind. New trees are going to be springing up there soon. Got the PVC pipes and then the little twigs going down them into the ground. Like row after row after row of them. Located in Deming. No, no, no. This train's not reserved for the chief of police. It's because I'm in the parking lot next to the building, the police station. That, that's why. That's, you may have been confused by that. The chief of police is not, is not going to be driving this locomotive. Some animals partial to this landscape. They have the names up top of the coyotes, foxes, bobcats, falcons, owls, and hawks. But the birds... I'm not 100% sure on. I'm thinking maybe one of them is a roadrunner? I'm probably incorrect on this. Yeah, I think I'm wrong. This downtown crossroad centerpiece not only is here for looks, but it's also active. Water is being emitted from the top portion down into the bottom. I didn't notice that at first until I walked closer. 
that's gonna do it for today. Made it up the road a bit more to Lordsville, which is pretty close to the next state line. Made it pretty far today, covered a, a bunch of miles. If you're new here, please subscribe. By doing so, it helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future adventures, endeavors in my life, as well as uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. Tomorrow, going into Arizona for the eighth and final day of this cross-country road trip. I'll see you then. For now, the vlog is over. Do you think Don Juan Burritos before it closed and before it was a Mexican food place was a Dairy Queen? Possibly.